Recently, uh, Fox Business News had a guest on to talk about Satanists that want to uh, put up a satanic statue at a, on public land in Oklahoma City. Now, as you guys know, uh, they did put the Ten Commandments up, and as a result, people from many different religions said, well, if you have some sort of symbol for Christianity, shouldn't we have a symbol for all sorts of religions? So Satanists got together. They raised a significant amount of money just so they can build a monument there uh, of Satan himself. Now, this is something that Fox is obviously very, very uncomfortable with, so they had someone by the name of Bernard McGurick on on to talk about it. Take a look. Well, you're making a moral equivalence between, uh, say, Christianity, which promotes things good for the most part, and, and all other religions, and Satanism, which, which is, is promotes evil. Not, not a good role model. And so they, yeah. should they, be, they should be able to put the statue up, and then they should be shot right next to it, and then we take it down. Yeah, oh, that's so funny talking about wow. executing people. That's a that's a crack up. Uh, well, obviously, since the people at Fox News were outraged about Melissa Harris Perry. Uh, saying a fairly benign comment about Mitt Romney's grandson, well, then I, they're equally outraged by this, right, Anna? I mean, he's been fired already, right? So, no. In fact, they even hmm. refused to release a statement about it. Um, they have been contacted by the press, and they said the following, the network was not about to dignify Satanists by commenting on their nonsense. Someone was just inciting violence on your program, and you refuse to comment on it. But M M Melissa Harris Perry makes, as you mentioned, the most benign joke possible, not even about the baby, but just about the Republican Party. Actually, Dino Badala did. And everyone loses it over that. Now, right? I, I make that analogy because it was not Melissa Harris Perry, as you pointed out, but our guest who did exactly. it. Right? Now, so Don Imus didn't make the joke. Uh, his regular contributor uh, did, right? Did Don Imus step in and say, you know, hey, look, dude, man, we're on air. Hey, cool it with the killing people jokes, right? And remember, it's not like on Fox News, uh, there hasn't been propaganda that led to deaths. Uh, every day, Bill O'Reilly would come out, and that's, uh, every day is an overstatement, but he did many different segments about Dr. George Tiller, and he kept calling him a baby killer, Tiller the baby killer, Tiller the baby killer, until somebody shot Dr. George Tiller, right? So here's Fox Business. What Don Imus knows about business is a totally different mystery because they don't give a damn about business. They're like, they just want to get ratings over there. So they bring him on and they have the guest on. Imus doesn't say anything. Look, I defended Imus during the nappy headed hope in the comment, not because I thought it was the right thing to say, but because I thought he shouldn't get fired over that. I defended Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck over things that they've said and said they shouldn't get fired over that. Don Imus and certainly Mc Bernie Mc quirk or whatever the F his face is, okay, should definitely be fired because he said we should shoot him. And then Fox News' reaction is, we're not going to respond to Satanist nonsense. But we're not asking you about the Satanists. We're asking about the guy who on your national television show, such as it is with us three viewers, okay, said that we should execute somebody. Ha ha, we should shoot him. There's no one on MSNBC that has ever said anything anywhere near that, even though they've been, half of them have been fired and the other half have done tearful apologies. I know, it's kind of incredible how that double standard exists, where on the left you have people that are so deeply apologetic about something that they shouldn't even really be apologetic about, but on the right, I mean, they double down on the things that they say. They refuse to apologize. They're defiant about their actions. And I feel like that also is symbolic of what you see in politics as well, with like the two political parties, right? Okay, Democrats okay. are always so apologetic about everything. Why can't they be strong and stand by something that they say? And that's not to say that they should be allowed to say ridiculous things that incite violence, but when they do make a joke as a comedian, for instance, you should stand by that comedian. Okay, so uh, if you don't believe in you, you're a conservative and you think, oh, you guys are making a mountain out of a molehill. I mean, he was kidding. He doesn't want to actually kill that guy. Okay, let me ask you what your reaction and what you think Fox's reaction would have been. If Ed Schultz jokingly said about a pastor he doesn't like, a Christian pastor, yeah, no, 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 he should be allowed to say whatever right-wing thing he's uh, going to say. Uh, like, let's take Billy Graham or, you know, you name it, Franklin Graham, you name him, okay? Pat Robertson. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pat Robertson should say whatever he wants, then we should put a bullet in his head. <laughs> Do you think that Fox News might have wanted him fired for that? Hmm. Not a peep over this. This is probably the last time you'll hear this story. And no one will ask for an apology going forward from Fox News. No one will get fired. Gee, I wonder if there's a double standard in the media. And by the way, this is the media that gets called the liberal media.
What an effing joke.